Hey. Hey. <laughs> Here we are. Getting ready to hit the field again. And uh, see if we have some luck today. So thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Appreciate it. And uh, let's go mudding. Let's go mudding. I just had a giant 3032 thing here and it seemed really big. So I didn't record it and I dug it and I got one of these. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's kind of cool looking. Looks like a spigot of some kind. Something went in here, something came out there. It's got a lot of rust happening underneath here. So I'll try to clean it up a little more at home, but I got one of these. I had a 26 sig though and I haven't found really much at all in a long while so I didn't live dig but um, it's a square in an octagon. <laughs> Maybe it was a piece of jewelry with a, an insert. I'm not 100% sure but that almost looks like a, a loop piece. But there's nothing on it. It's pretty plain but coolest thing I found in Ohio so thought I'd film it. I just had a <laughs> really big really high 30 again but this time I got something a little more recognizable. Pretty sure this is a cow tag for cow number 127. It's very muddy here today. Whoops. I think it's fairly modern because it's got this black enamel stuff on it but we'll take it. It rained last night and this morning and the ground is just saturated but it is an episode uh just got this 19 signal out and it's definitely a pocket knife well it's a dirty one but it's pretty intact and it's got a badge still in it so that's cool well we'll clean it up maybe i'll put a picture of this one up just because it's so dirty, you can't really see anything. The only good part about today is we can wash our finds in our holes. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. That's a much better shape. Yeah, that's pretty deep. Yeah. So, cool. yeah. Awesome. That's something. Yay, episode. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Not a glob. Not a glob, thank Ooh. God. I got one. These. Oh. Yeah. That's super special. That's cool. <laughs> nice and heavy. You can put it in a bucket too if you. And then that Oh, that must have been that beautiful. Perfect 34 35. That was my half dollar all day long. Half dollar, silver half dollar, all day long. She sent a copper. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's worth something. So. <laughs> yeah. I had an erratic but high signal. I usually don't film these, but uh, it's been such a slow day I thought I would. So down there in the mud, give it a quick clean because I. Saw that it was a weedy. 55. Oh, okay. Getting near the end of the weedy life, but hey, it's going. So I just had a, you know, high numbers around 20 ish. Um, little choppy, but still sounded like it had potentials. And a bell. Come this on. is a different one. This is the, the balls in the sides, or that, you know, the holes oh, in the yeah. sides. Yep. So, woohoo. Nice. That should go dingle dingle too. Nice, nice. That nice. has a slot in the bottom. It has, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, oh yeah, it has a slot in the bottom. That's different. No pedals, but it's got the holes here so that it, you know. Yeah. So. Awesome. Yay, yay. Cool. This is too good to be true. Alrighty. Let's see what it is. I'm trying to be gentle, but it's taking me a long time. Uh, now I'm concerned that it's some just giant piece of something. I think I'm being gentle for nothing. What are you? And how do I get you out of here? Okay, well, there's the other side of it. Maybe. Oh, what is it? It's... Oh, I don't know. Interesting. All right. Well, it's a thing. I got a thing. A decorative thing. No wonder that signal was so good. Oh, all right. That's a very long video. Mike, you're going to have to edit the ever-loving you-know-what out of this video.
So it's high enough in every direction that I'm going to dig it. Cool. I'm a loft. Oh, there it is. It's a penny. That's why it was so all over the place. I think it's a penny. Yep. What kind of penny are we? We should be. A weedy? Maybe, maybe? Oh yeah, absolutely. We're a weedy. Well, that's cool. I'll take a weedy. Can you see it okay? Contrast. Contrast is good. I feel like it ends in a 9, maybe a 39? I don't know. But it says one cent back here. It really does, I promise. There we go. One cent. No. Between 22 and 25 that way. A little higher that way, but not much. Is it that? Yeah. It's that melted metal. 32. Really steady. What's that? Is that it? That's it. Oh no. Yeah. Aluminum? It's one of those melted. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. 24 to 28. Yeah. Another blob. And it's kind of bouncy between 22 and 27, 28. I don't know. It's consistent enough that I want to dig it, but I would not doubt if it's some junk. All right. Right there. Oh, it's just a penny. It's a weedy, it is a weedy, okay. <laughs> it's a pretty good shape, 1941. All right, well, it was a coin, so that's cool. I have a lovely 23, 24, 23, 24, 25, 27. Nice and deep. That's that's cool. I'll take that. Okay, what are we? What are we? We're that. Uh, is this just a pipe? No. Nope. Um. Okay. That's interesting. Both ends are closed. Actually, I think this is lipstick. It's French? I don't know. No, that says Ohio. What is this? Registered U.S. patent tire pressure gauge. Oh, it's a tire pressure gauge. Okay. It's an old tire pressure gauge. Firestone. It says Firestone. I think the landowner will like this because he's a car guy. Registered in U.S. patent office. Well, I will uh, continue to clean it up, but I think you'll probably be pretty impressed with this thing. Nice. <laughs> I dug. <laughs> what is that? Okay, it's a pinpointer. <laughs> uh, almost two pinpointers deep for a reflector. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna give up. Uh, I saw the edge and I was curious. Oh, that's too funny. So, I don't know when they started making these, but to be that deep, either some work was done here or, uh, or it's very old, but I can't imagine this thing sinking that deep in just even a hundred years. So, we'll say that the ground was turned up here. Too funny. I have been trying to get this thing out of this hole down there and it was like under this rock and it was fighting me the whole way. This is what it is. It is not a silver spoon, but it's a spoon. I will take it. So yeah, that, I got a spoon. Well, it's very bent, but you know, field equipment. So cool. Here she comes. <laughs> Elbow deep for a piece of brass. That's been our day so far, but I think I got lucky here. Well, this was a 26. Nice. And uh, little, just a little erratic, like 23, 26, something like that. And 
uh, it was showing up in this side and I popped up in the drift flu and I saw that land on top. Oh. Yeah. So I think we got a silver dime. Nice. I'll get your water up. Cool. Yeah. Oh my god. Is it seeded? I oh my god, is it? We are, we didn't get any seeded last year. I'm like, I just want to find a seeded in this field. It is. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yes, Yay. finally. Oh. 87, 1887. Oh, gosh. Went to close to the last year. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes. that feels good. Yes. After so long of just yes. digging clumps of metal. And n not very deep. No, it didn't turn out to be that oh. deep. It seemed there was a mint mark. I'm not really seeing one. But it's got words. I mean, it's not Oh, simple. look at look, that. Look, it's got pretty good details, actually. 1887. Yeah. Yeah, the shield's still there. Jesus, and she looks pretty good. She looks really good. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yes. That's all I wanted. Yay. Oh, finally. Oh, so happy for you. Congratulations. Yay. Thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> oh. Dirty glove. oh, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, honey. Oh, so That's happy so I happy dug that. Okay, I was really not expecting it. I lost kind what of What was the signal you said? Like a 26? 26, yeah, like 24 nice. to 26. Cool. Well, I just had a really crappy, well, not really crappy, but very loud, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19. But it was just so loud, I figured it was something significant, so I decided to go for it. And quite a ways down there, I've been digging and digging. I see this which looks like a pretty sure that's a crotal bill so i turned on the camera yep it is it is woohoo a tiny little one that's completely intact oh that's so awesome Let's see if it's got any petals or anything on it oh yeah there it is nice woohoo yep it's got some some petals there it'll clean up really well he's way down there Hey, Mike. Honey? That's fantastic. Yeah, and it's got the petals and everything. It does. Yeah, so, and it's it, intact, so it should go dingle dingle once yeah, we get uh, so like a the dirt out. One. Yeah. Oh, that is sweet. Yeah. Fantastic. Yay. Congratulations. I know, it should clean up pretty nicely. It doesn't look like it has any cracks in it. So no, it's beautiful. It's just got mud in it, you know, yeah, so it's, it's going to take it a hot minute to. Yeah, we'll clean it out at home. I'm sure it's going to ring and we'll Yay. ring it on camera when it does. <laughs> Welcome to the wrap up at the uh, old dairy farm field that Persis and I spent a couple more days at. Here was our nemesis, uh, a whole bunch of melted metal um, and clumps of aluminum. I'm not sure what the metal was, probably some type of brass. It's not magnetic, as well as uh, bullet slugs and casings and some tubes. Over here, we got some miscellaneous copper and brass and uh, some lead, as well as some chunky iron. Got one and a half bullnose rings, uh, cow tag and some cow tag parts. This uh, mystery item, big chunky uh, brass with some iron corroded in the middle. Another mystery item in this very large and very deep reflector. Got to fold it over a spoon, what I believe is a fancy drawer pull, a, a couple finial pieces, a window lock, and this is some sort of uh, valve, as well as a uh, pocket knife. This was pretty cool. It says Firestone and it is a uh, old tire gauge from I believe around 1910. When I dug this I thought it was going to be a, uh, a tooth to a plow, but uh, Chris is like, that's that's a broom. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure what it was. It has this like kind of flap piece on it. Uh, it kind of came off, but yeah, definitely uh, looks like a broom. Got a couple crotal bells. One, uh, oops, <laughs> dirty, but uh, newer one probably from early 1900s, and an older one with some. Fancy on it. This right here, I believe, was some type of medallion or pendant. 
And I have a feeling there was like a uh, colored stone in the diamond shaped in the middle there. Um, but it does have that kind of like loop, broken loop at the top. So yeah, I think it was a part of some jewelry. You got one Clyde Quarter, Clyde Dime, and four Copper Memorials. We got five Wheat Cents. And I was absolutely thrilled to find this silver seeded dime um, from 1887. Uh, mostly because we did not find a seeded coin last year. So yeah, that made me very, very, very happy. Well, I hope you enjoyed our hunt out in that field. Uh, I think we probably did about three-fourths of that field. So there is a bit left, but uh, all the digging of that of the globs just kind of uh, wears on us. So we're going to maybe see if we can't... Uh, get to the lawn part. I'm hoping that's going to be a little bit better. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope everybody's doing well and stay tuned for more.